Three. We are. Yeah. Back. Oh, I smacked myself in glasses. We are back with another freaking. We're back with another freaking video, man. Being a little goof, goof over here, goof, goof. North, north, man. Hey, um. So we're back with another one through our train of thought. Hey, so listen, listen, baby. Look, I saw this and it said when wokes and racists actually agree on everything. Interesting. Interesting. What is this about? Oh, interesting. And apparently they are supposed to be reenact stuff, though, because both of them look like wokes to me. But um, but let's see. <clears throat> When me and Brad first met, I didn't think we'd get along, but turns out we kind of agree on everything. Your, Your racial, racial identity, identity is the most important thing. thing. Everything, everything should be looked at through the lens of race. race. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Damn. We both have a lot of opinions about people of color, even though we barely know any. I say colored people, but as long as we're classifying them, we both think minorities are a united group who think the same and act the same. And vote the same. You don't want to lose your black card. Sorry, I don't know. I just think we should roll, roll back, back discrimination laws so we can hire based on race again. again. Jinx, now you owe me a Coke. Hey, tell them what you told me yesterday. White actors should only do voices for white cartoon characters. Been saying that for years. Stick to your own. Us white people, we have so much privilege. I agree. It is a privilege to be white. Ask him about interracial dating. All I said is that black men who date white women have internalized racism, and white men that date ethnic women are fetishizing them. Guys against interracial dating now. Like, am I being pranked? Did Boomer put you up to this? Ugh, you know that taco place is white owned? White people should be making white foods like Kraft macaroni and cheese, no seasoning, not even salt. It's like he's a mind reader. I mean, I've been pushing for segregation forever and my man does what? I created an improv comedy show exclusively for ethnic people. Guy segregates comedy on my birthday. White people need to stop wearing dreadlocks and they need to stop appropriating black people's music. Shaved heads and country music, the way God intended. You know all white people are racist. I'm listening. Even if you have a black wife or a black friend group, you're still really racist. You know, he just kicked a guy out of the organization for having a black girlfriend, but if you can promise me he's still really racist, we'll consider letting him back in. Black, black people should only shop, shop at black businesses. businesses. I guess the only thing we really disagree about is I think white people are the root of all evil. But what did I tell you, though? If we can narrow that down to a certain group of tiny hatted white people, I think we can come to an understanding. Technically, I don't consider Jewish people white Neither because... do I. But we're still cool with interracial cucking, right? Yeah, as long as you pay for it. Sex work should be celebrated. That little clip, bro. I mean, he said woke people and race people are the same. How mm -hmm. you feel? I will say, I'm gonna say one thing for sure, two things for certain. All white people are not like like that. Of course if you only not. gotta I feel like personally I feel like you only have a small percentage of, of white of white culture that's purely on the ignorance. Now I believe I was listening to um uh, I forgot who said it, but he said that I don't think we have a racism problem in this country. We have a, we may have a prejudice problem, but we don't have a racist problem. And um, I this clip, I don't I don't feel like white. There there's a percentage of people that may be racist, but that's very small. I believe I believe a small a small percentage of the of of the population of people. What do you feel? Well, you know I need. See, when it comes to things about facts, mm -hmm. I have to really do my research. Okay. I don't like to state things that I have not looked up and researched from reputable resources. Yeah. So when it comes to like racist and, you know, prejudices, I think there are many, you know, many people have, you know, different prejudices against certain things. Yeah. When it comes to the race being, you know, racist, I, we don't really, well, let me not say that, but I honestly don't know what the percentage is. Now, I think it has decreased over time. Yes. But we know it's not like it was years, many, many years ago. Right. However, you know, I really need to get the true definition of racist and I need to get the true definition of prejudice. Yeah. Because once I clear have a clear, true understanding of what a racist is, because I know you hear people say racist, racist, racist. What is a racist? Well, you pull up the definition of prejudice. I'll pull up the definition of racist so you don't have to talk at both. But what yeah. I do feel is they, they were talking about the fact of many, many, many things that people think. That they you thinking that what you're not, but you actually may be doing. You know what I'm saying? No. They're thinking things that, you know, those are the topics of their conversations. You know, but are they true necessarily? No, this is some of what they were thinking. So a racist is prejudice against or 
um, or presidents against or towards a person or people on the basis of their membership in a particular racial or ethnic group, typically one that is a minority or marginalized. What is prejudice? An unfavorable opinion or feeling formed beforehand or without knowledge, thought, or reason. Mm -hmm. So I do feel like there are way more prejudices than racist. We could say that maybe people who yeah. would, you know, claim to be racist. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're not getting, I believe you got more prejudice than folks saying like, see them blacks. I can't stand them blacks over there. Now, six, 50, 60 years ago, that, that might've been different. So this is any pre, any preconceived opinion or feeling either favorable or unfavorable. So that's automatically just making a, you know, having a, a idea or something about a person or a thing. Correct. And really don't have all the facts. I thought so, but I just thought the the, the um, clip was um, interesting. interesting. How you're, they're saying basically we agree that both of them actually are running to some to the same mm -hmm. thinking per se. Mm -hmm. Racism: the person who believes the doctrine that one's own racial group is superior. So I feel like you can get. I feel like you eventually <laughs> racism will come whatever the what's left of racism will completely wash out. But I believe prejudice is a topic that is strong. Yeah. And, you know, and, and I feel like racism is something that is going to e eventually, it could eventually fade, but it still has not died all the way. It ain't there, died all the way, know, but, but you ain't, but you will see it that few far between. Will it ever? You know, now that we think about it, if it's one think, group that wants to continue to still feel superior to another group, then who man, knows? Man, I feel like you only got you probably you probably got six hundred KKK members spread out through the country in the in the stick somewhere talking about racism, man. But, but we know with the new with the kids that are coming up today, this new this newer generation, they're not looking at this new generation. Don't give a crap about it. <laughs> they're not man. talking about racism. Correct. They're so. Not. That doesn't really, it's not, I mean, they know the topic, but that's not how you've been brought they up. They ain't being, they're not, yeah. We're bringing up, we're, I think the world's been brought up, is being brought into more, uh, it's always, it's been like this now versus you're over here and you're over here and then so now we have an opinion on you, you have an opinion on us. It's really kind of more blended. It's more the old heads, the people that grew up in those time of eras are still holding on to the racism. Or if you're still young and you're racist, that means that's come from your racist parents that's teaching you that law. Because you don't naturally get that in this day and age. Right. Too much internet, too much exposure. But, um, yeah, I just thought I'd drop that clip, man. See what y'all thought about that. How do y'all feel? Yeah. Nothing? You got nothing? Well, I mean, yeah, I said what I felt. I feel I gotcha. like, yeah, they, it's, maybe that's just, it, it can be satire. I, I really that's feel like I was it was satire. Yeah, I, I kind of feel satire. like it was satire. I feel like it was satire, I don't too. really feel like that's, I mean. They may believe that, you know, but they they could be speaking things that other people, you know, think and may not say or say on certain channels or certain other platforms. But, you know, mm -hmm. it, it was just like satire to me. That's how I felt, too. But things that people say. True. All right, man. Like always, and like, comment, subscribe. Drop down below if you want to see Mo. Put your comments down there, man. We'll check them out. We'll review them like always. We'll see you on the next one, man. Bye-bye.